Hello, and welcome to the Cali's Performance Products Heat Treat and Metallurgical Laboratory. My name's Mike Javaris. I'm the metallurgist and heat treat manager here at Cali's. We have a brand new installation here we want to show you. It's quite a sizable investment for Cali's. This is Cali's latest commitment to our total quality commitment towards the industry. This furnace has 2,500 gallons of quench oil in it. Uh, we can also top cool for carburized only as well as harden when we go into the quench. The furnace also has a protective gas that we also generate here at the facility. Uh, this gas, it uh, has three functions. It seals the furnace it, uh, to keep oxygen out. It also keeps uh, high temperature oxidation from forming as sometimes you see parts when they get red hot, they get scaly. That will not happen in this furnace. And it also acts as a carrier gas for when we're carburizing. It allows that gas to go into the furnace uh, and actually carburize our parts. We can run all Cali's camshafts, crankshafts, and connecting rods in this furnace. Here at Cali's, we have all the latest in automatic load and unload equipment on our heat treat. Uh, we're currently unloading a load of uh, carburized camshafts. This is our carrier cart that actually transfers the parts in and out of the furnace, the washer, and our draw furnace. And down to the west of us here, we also have uh, loading and unload capability, storage capability, cooling capability that allows us to do every aspect of the heat treat cycle in-house all along this rail car here. We're going to take a ride here real quick. Now that the loads come out of the quench, uh, we have to wash the oil off. And we take this right down to the washer here. A um, little bit of smoke here, but that's part of being in a heat treat operation. It may take us a second to line everything up here. This is a spray washer, it's not an immersion washer. Spray washers have the advantage in that they'll always spray clean, uh, soapy water over the parts and wash the oil away. Uh, when you have an immersion type, it just, when you're all done, it just lifts the parts up and the oil is on the top and you get oil on the top of your parts, which tends to smoke up your operation. So we're also environmentally conscious here at Cali's to be sure we, we purchase the right equipment that keeps us from polluting the air in the surrounding neighborhoods. Uh, we could hit a cycle start here in a moment and uh, the oily parts would come out clean and from there we would go over to the tempering furnace where we temper back uh, the highly stressed condition made in the furnace to a usable condition where we can not only grind it but uh, our customers can put them in the engine and uh, run them this is our uh, induction hardening machine that we use to heat treat camshafts. Camshafts that come to this machine are a different alloy grade than what we carburize. These tend to be a little higher in carbon, a little more alloy, around the 4150, uh, 5150 alloy grades for those of you that know steel grades. And uh, these have all been machined. The, the surfaces are ready for heat treatment. We fixture them between the centers. We rotate them slowly. Uh, inside here are two induction loops that uh, not only carry the current, but also the quench. And we're gonna show you a, a close up of that in a moment here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start button. I'll interrupt the cycle a little bit and we can get a little closer and you can see what's actually happening. Here the inductors remain stationary and we move the camshafts vertically up and down within the inductor. We move it so the journal is centered in the inductor. We turn on the uh, inductive power. It heats the journal all within about three and a half seconds. And we have a slight delay on some and not on others to ensure you know, the quality of the final product. Um, once the cams are done here, we evaluate them in our metallurgical laboratory, we look for case depth uh, versus hardness versus depth. Uh, we also temper directly here in our own facility. The next journal we're gonna be heat treating here is a lobe. 
And you can see the lobe gets nice and red, and just as it's just at its peak redness, we turn on uh, the quench to cool it down to give it the hardness. This hardness will be somewhere in the 62, 63 range Rockwell uh, prior to tempering. This particular camshaft here is a uh, General Motors LS1 that is made out of uh, 4150 material. This is the final lobe that we're heat treating in this bank. The next journal that we'll heat treat is actually a bearing and you'll see that this bearing nearly fills the entire uh, internal diameter of the, of the loop here. And you'll see that the quench also jumps up a little bit higher and it talks to you a little bit. And when we hear that, we know we've made a good part. Every journal that's been heat treated moves downward and we actually have some shutters that close in the groove diameter of the camshaft to protect the heat from going down to the uh, previously heat treated lobe. This way we don't temper back uh, anything on the camshaft. All the lobes remain uh, as hard as they possibly can be and it ensures quality. We also monitor the quench concentration. Uh, this is actually a water based uh, coolant that we use with some additives that uh, slow the quench down and also keep rust from forming. Uh, we also monitor the power that goes into every journal that we heat treat, making sure that we are right within that sweet spot. Not too high, not too low. Uh, if that does happen, we get a fault, the part is rejected, and we can go back in and take corrective action. We have uh, four more journals, four more lobes, and, and one bearing left to heat treat. The entire cycle time here is uh, around six minutes. So since we're heat treating two cams, the cycle time per cam is about three minutes, which is extremely fast. Uh, you compare that to the carburized camshaft, these camshafts can be in the furnace uh, for 35, 36 hours uh, before we get the proper case step. Whether you like induction hardened camshafts or carburized camshafts, Callies can make both cams suit your needs. The other thing we do at Cali is that we filter all our quenchants and all our fluids. Uh, we found over the years that clean quenchants and clean washer fluids produce better parts. We'll also inspect these camshafts with uh, fluorescent magnetic particles to be sure there's no cracks prior to shipping them to our customers. Uh, we will grind the bearings and of course the customers will grind the lobes to whatever lift schedule that they desire. You can still see the parts are a little bit hot coming out, but you can see only the top part is hot because everything else below it has been cooled. And that is a completely induction hardened LS1 camshaft. In this room here, we do our sample prep and we do our hardness testing. We have two hardness testers here. One is a, uh, a Rockwell and the other is a Superficial. Uh, both of these come into play in our uh, heat treat process, the superficial we use for our carburizing for, to find out the light case. And here on the Rockwell, uh, uh, the standard where you know, we'll uh, actually take a sample that has been cut and after temper, and we'll get a hardness reading on this one. And if all things come out all right, it should be around 58 or so, oh, 58 to 60 which is about what we uh, target for, for all of our induction hardened camshafts. This is the second half of our metallurgical laboratory. In this room here, we evaluate the, the core hardness, the microstructure, the case hardness. Uh, Greg Lynch right now, he's actually evaluating a uh, nitride case where we've actually done a trace on our micro hardness tester over here. It generates a hardness versus depth graph, which we log and keep uh, as a permanent record for every lot that we run here. Uh, we can also, if you go back to the, we also evaluate uh, this white layer here uh, to make sure that uh, the, our nitriders are doing exactly what we expect them to do because this nitriding establishes the fatigue strength and endurance limit 
of our crankshafts. Uh, camshafts are currently not nitrided. I'll explain the equipment that we have in here real, real quick. All of it is digital camera uh, capable and interface. So anything that we can see with our eye, we can take a picture of and record it. And because uh, basically our only product in here is documentation. We uh, photograph what we see, we measure, and we put it in a report, and we generate that for customers both internal and external to Cali's performance products. This machine right here is a uh, micro hardness tester where we do a put a very very small uh, pin prick in with a diamond at, at very uh, precise locations on on uh, the depth of a, uh, sp a specimen that looks I showed you one earlier kind of looks like this. We actually do a traverse and we get and we know the hardness profile. All that is tied together with a PC and a digital camera up above here. Here we have a uh, metallograph, which goes from uh, 50 to 500 magnifications. And uh, this is kind of your standard issue piece of equipment for any metallurgical lab. Here we do the evaluation of our microstructures and we use it for any kind of investigation where we may have a failure analysis, both for either internal or external to CAS. We've done both of those types of investigations here. We hope you've enjoyed this video tour of Cali's Performance Products Heat Treat and Laboratory. We have all the latest state-of-the-art equipment and we are able to deliver the finest product to you, our customer. Thank you very much. <music>